remember just now. Um, uh, what's the difference and uh, why did you choose to list on the BNB exchange? So uh, why people, some projects go for the Ethereum, uh, Ethereum network, uh, why some projects go for the BNB, why some projects go to the Polygon, uh, some go to the uh, Pulse chain is actually uh, also uh, the chain that I, I think they are not launched yet. If I'm not mistaken, but uh, okay. So how do how do projects how can projects choose which chain they want list uh, they want to list on? Yeah. So at at the time for Shiba Light, um, for us, Shib Light, we just wanted to um, we didn't we all of us didn't have a lot of money, so it was just a whole bunch of you know friends that got together, you know maybe a couple thousand bucks saved up a piece, and. We didn't want to launch on Ethereum because it was very, very expensive to send transactions and distribute on Ethereum. So it's very, it's very expensive to launch on Ethereum. So we're like, hey, you know, we're new to this. Let's launch on Binance, a smart chain, because it's it's less expensive. You know, it's it's much more cheaper to yeah. to launch on Binance. So we're this is why we launched on Binance at the time, and it was the most popular chain besides Ethereum to launch a token on. So this is why we launched on Binance, but we still want to launch on maybe about two, in our version two roadmap, we do want to launch on two more chains. Yeah. So why do even project launching nowadays on the Ethereum when the BNB is cheaper? What are the advantages of being launched on the Ethereum network? Yeah, Ethereum, I just feel like Ethereum is the biggest chain. I don't feel I know this, but Ethereum is the, the largest chain for smart contracts, you know, so you get a lot more investors and people who normally they had, you know, a lot of the Ethereum guys, they don't, they won't even look at a Binance smart chain project, you know, so, you know, you get a lot of uh, bigger investors with Ethereum. And then if you, the, the benefit to launching on like Polygon, something like this is it's very cheap. And so you get a lot of quantity, a lot of small holders from launching on something on like Polygon. You know, you're going to get a lot of smaller holders versus Ethereum. You're going to get a smaller number of larger holders. So essentially whales. You know, if you launch on Ethereum, you're going to get whales, a part of the project. Yeah, well, it's basically like it's it's the Gucci of the of the crypto networks. Uh, yes. Like the most yes. premium network. Why is it the yeah. premium? Because it's the most expensive with the transactions. And it's kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> yes, this is exactly it. That doesn't make much sense. I mean, I, I know when the pro a project is on the Ethereum, I have a like, feeling that it's like extremely serious. It's like uh, a lot of uh, it goes into the marketing. Uh, there are like, a, I don't know, like 500 programmers around it and stuff like that. But um, when the pro uh, I don't know, but it's probably because it was the first chain and the original chain. I mean, one of the, the, the biggest and one of the first. And... When you go and uh, nowadays, especially nowadays, after so many uh, rug pull projects and stuff like that, when you see the, that the token is listed on the BNB uh, uh, network, they're like, I don't know, they don't have like so as much confidence. That's probably the, the reason. Yeah, and you know, Ethereum's uh, the most secure, and I just feel like, hey, if it's, a, like you said, they have to be serious because, you know, you're talking thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to launch on ethereum versus maybe single digit thousands to launch on binance and that you know so the you know it's much easier to do a rug pull or something and it's a low cost to do it on binance smart chain versus ethereum it's much harder to do it because hey nine times out of ten people want to be serious because hey this is costing me a lot of money to even launch